What's going on, you 3D modeling beast? This is JL Musi, and today I have a couple of big channel updates. First and foremost, I am starting a Facebook group. A lot of people have asked me about that. The vision with that is I wanted to create a group where a different 3D artist could come together and spend most of their time arguing on which 3D package is the best. No, that, that's actually not the vision. That does happen quite a bit. So the real vision of the group is for artists, uh, regardless of discipline and regardless of 3D uh, package, to be able to come together and post their works in progress, uh, post their final works, be able to connect with each other and also communicate with me as well. As the group grows, uh, I have big ambitions for it, uh, such as uh, creating a contest, a 3D art contest. A lot of times I get work sent my way or people tag me on posts, and it's kind of hard to actually keep track of, you know, all the messages that I get and all the uh, images that, you know, you guys want me to look at. So I think this is going to be a great place for just me seeing your work, seeing your progress and really just communicate with you guys and you know have you guys communicate with other 3D artists as well. The second announcement is that I just finished my Maya Hard Surface Modeling course. So this course in a nutshell is a 10 week Maya Hard Surface Modeling course where you get to build a BMX bike part by part, week by week. Uh, every week, uh, essentially a, a part of the bike is an assignment. Uh, you have videos that you have access to that pretty much go from A to Z on how to build that part and really just my hard surface modeling workflow uh, within Maya. Towards the end of the week, I do a live Q&A session where you guys get to ask me any questions uh, regarding pretty much that week's assignment. You also have a Discord group where you get to post that week's uh, project or assignment and you actually get feedback on it and communicate with other students within the course. I am gonna throw a link down below to the course, but I'm just gonna pretty much tell you in my own words and actually the words of some of my students uh, that kind of went through this journey with me, what the course was and really the transformation that um, they had as students and really the transformation that I had as an instructor. You probably heard about this course uh, through uh, some of my works in progress of the bike that I was constructing, but I actually kind of kept the course itself uh, somewhat low key. And that was because I actually wanted to test it out before, you know, rolling it into the public. And I wanted to make sure that I had a good product to actually offer to you guys. So I started the 10 week course in April, uh, which was a pretty crazy time for the world. A lot of things were changing in the world. Uh, as the lockdowns actually had started and you know change and I don't want to get here too poetic but uh, change was actually kind of a theme of this uh, course because as the world was changing right um, a lot of my students were actually changing and they were becoming better 3D artists and actually became a better instructor and I learned a lot from my students and it was really just a great opportunity and I think I was just blessed to be actually paired up with 10 great individuals that came in and were hungry to learn, uh, hungry to absorb my knowledge. Uh, and, you know, they just brought a, a good uh, mindset to, you know, being okay with struggling and uh, going through the course. Uh, the course actually uh, does get uh, sometimes a little bit difficult. Um, that's why it's called Mastering Hard Surface Modeling in Maya. Uh, but they were all, or most of them, able to create uh, great looking models and really level up uh, their 3D modeling skills in a relatively short amount of time. And you know, it was just great being able to do the live sessions. That was something that is a little different for me as far as doing the YouTube videos. Uh, YouTube is kind of a one-way method of communication, but doing the webinars with them and actually being able to just see what's going on with their artwork and also in their personal lives, especially just going through these crazy times that we were going through together really meant a lot to me. I had students from all over the world, from Brazil to England, uh, to all over the United States, uh, even Canada. Uh, so it was just really a good uh, experience for me. And it was actually a good experience for them, at least from you know what they told me in the reviews uh, that the course got. There was a lot of breakthroughs throughout that 10 week period. Uh, one that actually uh, comes to mind is Saulo. 
and the improvement that he was able to do uh, within a 10 week period uh, was actually surprising to me because when I actually rolled out the course, I, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, one of my fears was that this course was gonna be too difficult. Uh, and I wanted to actually just kind of find that uh, perfect balance of challenging enough, but you know, achievable enough. And you know, I didn't really know how I was gonna shake out until the end. And Saulo, he actually had very limited uh, modeling experience. And Saulo was actually kind enough to send me uh, some examples of the work he was doing before he enrolled in the course and actually after the 10 week uh, period of finishing up the course. And to me, that uh, change was pretty remarkable and actually very, very gratifying as an instructor. So at the end of the last Q&A session for the course, I wanted to get some feedback from the group, from the guys, and I asked them, you know, what was your take on this course? And I actually have the recording right here, so uh, I'm actually gonna end the video and then just jump over the recording. Uh, the first one uh, on there is actually Saulo talking about his experience. And if you don't see him, it's because of the way the recording, you don't have a uh, camera, uh, the actual box doesn't pop up. I'll start with Saulo because you're the, the top square on my screen. So, um, and I, you, you kind of, you know, told me about it, but maybe just share just your experiences uh, about the class. Hmm, I think it's, it's great and I have no words. I found the, the course absolutely amazing. I, I am probably the, the less experienced in modeling. Mm -hmm. So what I achieve with, with the bike, I'm, I'm stunned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still I'm, stunned so far. How much experience did you have modeling? Like, I guess, time-wise or like modeling-wise, like what was the most complex thing and like how, how, how long were you modeling before? I started doing uh, things uh, five, five years ago, but I did very few things. I think mm. just five or, five or six objects. Mm. I think the mo most complex one was the skate, but it has a lot of issues, you know, a lot of er errors. I am focused in animation, but I always wanted to to model some, at least some some props for mm -hmm. personal use like that. And I didn't I didn't even know how to use the tools properly. Mm -hmm. So I struggled a lot. And just with your first video talking about the tools. Mm. It was already great, you know. I learned a lot from. Hold from on, all I, your... I, I, I gotta go take off my hat. My my head's getting big, as, as Jonathan would would say. Uh, <laughs> all right, so well, since we're talking about Jonathan, we're gonna move one box down and um, just kind of give us the, I guess the spiel, just what you like, maybe some things you didn't, um, suggestions, anything really off the top of your head. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect coming into this. Uh, I have had experience doing 3D modeling before, not mm -hmm. not like an overwhelming amount, but you know enough that I would feel comfortable kind of modeling. However, it's been a few years because uh, I've been focusing a lot on like facial animations and rigging and virtual reality portions, not necessarily getting down and dirty with modeling. So uh -huh. this was awesome. Like I. I mean, I don't know, I thought I knew some stuff, but no, I, not at all, man. After this class, like, I feel very comfortable jumping into 3D again, um, or at least more comfortable, I don't know, but very comfortable because it's still 3D. But I learned a lot in this class, like from the first videos when you were talking about the tools, because I, I knew some of the tools, but like, for example, the multi-cut tool, I had no idea it's, you know, what it, like its potential could be. And you showed me a, you know, a very different uh, manner of using that tool in regards to um, just a few different portions of, of the project. So I was really excited about that when you first started showing stuff. Um, I will lie, the class did get difficult, man, it, which is good because a few weeks in, I'd say about five, six weeks in, when we kind of got to the seat is when I really started seeing a, a big difference in regards to my time frame and, and what was, you know, how, how fast I was going through stuff. But overall, man, in the course, like 
I learned a lot and I am very, I'm really excited after today, just seeing the renders and whatnot. Like I was stoked seeing just the final modeling done. Um, and then when I did the renders, I was, you know, I, I, don't know, I just was very, very excited. So I got inspired by like, with 3D again, I'm not gonna lie. Like I was getting a little burnt out. It's been a little while. I was like, switching man, it's gears. About to explode! No more comments. Somebody talk some shit quick. <laughs> it was uh, like that, man. I don't know. Like it was. I started getting a little down on some 3D stuff, and because I just started seeing my my path switching, and I wanted to kind of switch back and control a little bit more of my direction. And I think this class will certainly help that. So thank you very much. Like honestly, this class was great. It was better than I expected. So get benefit from it and. It seems like we have a lot of different uh, skill levels in the course, so. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I cut you off, Jonathan, or you got uh, anything. No, okay. Uh, Reed. Uh, well, I, I learned a lot in the course too. Like definitely, like going in, I wasn't sure exactly what we're gonna do. I really liked your videos that you had on YouTube, and so it's like, well, I know there's a lot of quality that you're offering, so. Uh, it definitely got a lot out of it. You know, I'm still finishing it up. Uh, things happened in my life that sort of made it difficult for me to stay on target. But, you know, I want to finish this course because it's it, it's had so much value for me so far. Um, the seat was hard. It was really hard for me. Uh, I think uh, it's just a kind of complicated thing. And uh, maybe one kind of improvement i noticed like you know when you're there's like the metal part of the seat and how that's fitting into like the bottom right yeah. and so when you do the boolean there like i must have redone that one but the boolean but also like how the connections go and so maybe one way you know you you start had you had a strategy to how to connect each one of those metal like rails or whatever supports into the seat I guess just the strategy, like you had a strategy for what you wanted the end topology to look like between at the connection point. And I just didn't, it took me a while to figure that out. A lot of trial and error. And after a while you you, you demonstrated it like repeatedly. So I'm like, oh, that's what JL's going for. Um, yeah. But maybe if there is like, you know, you want the, these corners to look like that to meet up with this edge flow like that. And then you sort of repeated that throughout. I had a, a perfect score across the top, and now- You said your head was getting big. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor. You need to fit in that hat. I'm, you, you had to buy all new hats if it wasn't for me, you know? So you're welcome. Yeah, man, you, <laughs> you, guys, you, guys, you guys watch uh, basketball, like the slam dunk contest, everybody put up 10, and Reed's putting up a seven. How, how the hell am I gonna win here? <laughs> all right, uh, I'm just messing. No, I, 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 do, I do appreciate that, you know, and that's, that's something like I said, man. I, Appreciate the feedback and what what do you got, Tristan? Um, I think the course was really well paced. It was really well put together as well. And I managed to learn a lot from this course. Like I said before, really well paced and I managed to learn at a much slower pace as well. It was really nice and easy for me. It, it's crazy, like we, we started April. Yeah, so we, we started right when like all the uh, lockdowns uh, began, but yeah, I'm, I'm stoked, man. I, I, I definitely want to see what you guys actually do uh, after this course and we'll definitely keep in touch. So everybody but Jonathan, he he, he outdid me on my renders. I, I can't have that so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, squad, so you guys, I, I got to get you guys some type of certificate so you can put on the wall, official uh, 3D modeling beast. That's something I am going to look into. So I really appreciate you guys actually supporting this project of mine. And yeah, so we'll keep in touch. But good, good stuff, squad. All right. So, All right. Guys, Thanks a lot, Leo. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> nice meeting you, everybody. So we'll, we'll, we'll stay in touch, team. And then until uh, next time. All right. Thanks again. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.